Okay, so this plugin just dropped today. It's called Layer Lab, and it is Stochastic Sample Layering Module. It's designed by Yaraki, I think is how you say his name, but I probably said it wrong. Um, he makes other plugins. Let me show you some of the stuff that he makes. Go to his channel here. Hold on a second. Okay, so I introduced you guys one time to Juicy Loops too. It's like the Ableton version of Fruity Loops, if you like that sequencer. But he's made some other plugins um, that are really good too. So you can check his stuff out. And we are going to check out Layer Lab. So Layer Lab is on sale, I think, right now, because he's doing like kind of a I think it's on sale, but it's it's 15 euro or $15 or something like that. Anyway, let's grab that plug in. We're going to take a look at it. And there it is. All right. And I'll talk about what I know about it. So it is a Max for Live plugin. You will need Ableton Live Suite to be able to run this. So if you don't have that, then it probably won't work. And I think you need the um, 12. I don't know if the other version works or not. Okay, so there's a few things in here. What it does is you drop a folder in or you can browse for a folder and it will take whatever's in that folder. Currently, while filming this, I talked to him about this too. It only collects directly what's in the folder. So if you have subfolders in there, it will not pick up those sounds. That's to me kind of unfortunate because then it's a lot more work to find, and dig through folders. Whereas I might want to put a bunch of different samples in there um, it's not going to work. You're going to have to put them into a folder by themselves. But you can do drag and drop or browse. I'm going to use browse and I'm going to grab just from this jazzy piano. So once you open it, you'll see it's nine samples in that folder. They successfully load. Now it does not save the samples. That's something I think you might want to consider down the road because when people save their projects, you're going to lose everything. So, in other words, if it crashes on you, then when you reopen it, your samples will not be in there. It will not memorize where those samples are. So you'll have to record it into something if that's what you want. It's supposed to load with four layers, but you notice right here, it's only one layer. Um, part of that is the sample de um, deviation amount is set to zero. So if I set it to like, I think like, 6% and I hit this random button, you'll see it still didn't load anything. If I start moving these around, then it loads. I mentioned this to him. The other thing is, is it plays the sample all the way through when it initially loads. He's supposed to fix this it really does need to be fixed. Like I don't want it to be loading and playing all the way through. Just load the samples and let me press play to trigger it. So he is aware of that. Um, so I would say hold out if you don't want it really right now at this price. Just hold out for a little bit until he maybe does an update on it. Um, but then again, I don't mind like waiting for it. it's only 15 bucks. So if you can afford it, go for it. So the random can be select all or you can clear it and then select certain things like let's say you want to just the start point, maybe the speed, filter, the stretch, phase, and you can just randomize those specific ones. So you'll see here. So you can manually do stuff to it or you can just hit the random button. And the reset can reset everything. So if you want to just reset it, just hit reset. And Try it again. Keep it random. So I'm going to turn it on now that it stopped playing. And you'll see you can trigger it, or you're supposed to be able to. But it's not triggering. It's been a little buggy, I'll admit, right out the gate. And I told the developer this. I'm making this video now because I probably won't remember it later. These are like one off plugins that I use every now and then to spark some type of creativity. Um, but you can see here that it's not moving. Now it's moving. So 
sometimes I find I have to move around. Okay, so this plugin is only for people that are into experimental things, glitchy, you know, ambient, uh, just stuff like that. If you're not into that, this plugin will not be for you. You'll get frustrated with it more. But what is cool is it's four samples blended together, doing random stuff that allows you to record into an audio track. So you would set up an audio track like this, then you would put your um, input as that particular track and then you would press this one as in and then this one is record and now you're going to record to an audio track so it's like resampling right but if you don't like that just keep hitting random to you get something that you like so that's pretty cool so now it's still going, you see? See what I'm talking about? Like, it, it's no way to stop that. That's one of the things he's got to work on, in my opinion. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press record, and then and then I'm just going to play it. Triggered. So I just ran it through and then you can see here see it's still going, but I probably wouldn't keep all that. So I guess it's going to stop at some point. So now you have this little eight bar loop right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Oops, I didn't do that. All right. So now you have this eight bar and you can... And if you know Ableton, you know you got even more because you could technically go here and start stretching it, time stretching and stuff. And mess around some more. Maybe catch this in and stretch it out here. Now I'm just kind of warping, mangling it however I want. But... There you go. Um, this one I would just leave there. It sounds better that way. So there you go. So you could do something similar to that. This probably push this way. Yeah, something like that. And then you got all this freedom to maneuver and do whatever you want. Anyway, this is a cool little plug in. Again, it's only for people that are down with experimenting. It's called Layer Lab. Do not buy this if you are not interested in experimenting with audio sounds and coming up with some interesting uh, wild stuff, okay? <laughs> it's just not for everybody, and that's okay. Um, everything I do, you might not like it, and that's okay. It's not the plug-in necessarily that you don't like. It's just you don't. That's not your thing. Um, there is a master volume control, so you can manipulate the volume on here. You can also go to this little button that's by each one. It's called Extra, X-T-R-A. And so you can adjust the filter, the playback mode, get more intricate on the quality of how you want it to do, whether you want it to fa be phased left or right, or not phased, you can turn it off. So you have all of that 
built into here into this little plugin for $15. And it's just another way to create unique samples. Um, just like in my previous video, I talked about Forever 89, that Tapos plugin. You could take something like that. I'm just going to show it since um, I want you to see this portion. Hold on one second. Go to the plugins. So let's say you just put that onto this track. Now you want to try something neat with this. So maybe let's let's try um, piano harmonics, whatever that preset is. So you get it using that plugin. You could easily open Layer Lab. Now Layer Lab is a Max for Live plugin once again, so make sure you keep that in mind. It is not a plugin that you'll be using in other DAWs, or it's just not made that way. If you made it as a VST or whatever, then sure. But in this case, it is a Max for Live plugin. But it's a fun Max for Live plugin. It doesn't take up, as far as I know, a lot of CPU. So you can run this thing. And I know for a fact he said, or he said he didn't know, because he doesn't have a push three if it works on there. But uh, soon we'll be checking that out too to see how it works on a push three. Hint, hint. All right. So hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you on the next video.